We'll begin by bringing our feet parallel and fan your feet out. Feel a little bend in the knees and take a big inhale breath. Sweep the hands wide overhead. Exhale, we'll lean to the right. You can drop your bottom arm if you like. Easy side bend, inhale center, hands skyward. Exhale, lean to the left. A few more this way, just an easy side bend. Inhale, center, exhale, lean. Inhale, center, exhale, lean. Allow the feet to be equally grounded as is possible as you lean side to side. Stacking hips over knees and ankles. Continue to breathe. Let's take one more to each side here. Inhaling center, exhale, lean. Inhale center, exhale, lean. And hands come center. Let's draw the palms to touch, hands at the heart center space. And then flip the fingers downward and then back up and flip the fingers downward and back up. If you need a little more stretch, you might sink the heels of the palms down towards the floor. And then when the fingers flip downward, lift the heels of the palms upward toward the sky. Fingertips skyward, fingertips down toward the earth. Just mobilizing through the wrist and lower arm. Couple more here. Just let your breath be even here. One more. Great. Let's relax the hands by the sides. Roll the wrists a little bit. A few rolls to the shoulders. You might bring your feet a little wider and maybe slightly roll the heels inward, toes outward with a gentle external or lateral hip rotation, sitting back into a squat and press back up. When you're squatting, you want your kneecaps aligned over your middle toes, your glutes to send straight back behind you and keep the heart and chin lifted. You can stretch your arms out in front of you for some additional support. Try to keep the spine long lengthened with natural curves here. So we're gonna do three or four more, just warming up through the entire body here, getting some major muscle groups going through the lower body and through the arms, shoulders. And maybe one more here. Good, and pause. Go ahead and roll the shoulders a little bit, maybe shake the legs out, shake the wrists. We're coming down to tabletop hands and knees. So aligning hands under shoulders, knees under feet, tuck your toes under, and then feel a lift or affirming through the abdomen. Draw the shoulder blades down away from the ears and see if you can hover the knees above the earth. Breathe here and notice if you're rounding through the spine or arching through the spine and come back to a neutral curve. You might need to drop the knees to do that. Find your natural curves in the spine, firm through the abdomen, and then hover the knees again. Take a few more breaths, feeling some heat building through the center, some strength work through the upper body as well. Two more breaths. And then soften the knees to the mat. Good, we'll add a variation. So when you're ready, hover the knees, stretch one leg back and then return. Second leg back and return. Try to keep the hips level as you stretch the foot. So if the hips start to lift, level the hips to the earth and stretch a leg and return. So we're working to separate the hip flexor muscle from the core muscles. So by stretching the leg, we're lengthening that hip flexor and allowing our core muscles to do the stabilizing work through the torso. One more second side and return down. We're turning over to our backs and we'll just come down to the back. Heels grounded, knees bent. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath you, center your head, and we're pressing the hips up to a bridge. Here in this bridge, take a peek. You want your thigh bones or femurs parallel here. So if your knees are swaying in or out, bring them parallel. 
Feel some support through the gluteus maximus, squeeze of the glute muscle. Press the backs of the arms and palms to the mat to feel some activation in the mid and upper back here. And breathe into the opening through the front of the hips. Here in this bridge, rather than really pressing really far up, what we're looking for is some neutral spinal curves here. So see if you can find that neutral curve through thoracic upper back and lumbar lower back as you hold this bridge. One more inhale and exhale here. And then lower on down. And from here, we are going to grab that foam roller, do a little mobilization here, starting with the glutes. So we're gonna sit on the foam roller on one side and you're gonna roll the glute out. Now here, you wanna be careful that you're not rolling over the sit bone. But you're just rolling on that muscular tissue in back. So from the ridge of the pelvis and back down to your sit bone here. And maybe one more roll. Pause in the middle. We're actually gonna rotate the side of the hip toward the foam roller and then back up. So we're trying to get at our glute medius, maybe that tensor fascia lata muscle a little bit there on the side of the upper hip. Just a few rolls. You might rotate and pause on the side. Now rolling the whole IT band here. Just rolling along the side of the leg. And again, we don't wanna roll over the knee or hip joint, just rolling from the knee, maybe up to your sort of greater trochanter, this bony process at the top of the femur. So rolling down the side of the leg. Good, then we're rolling over onto the quads. So legs parallel here to start, using the arms to sort of roll on the quadriceps, again, from hip to knee. We don't wanna roll over the joint itself. You might experiment rotating the heels in, toes out, so it's a lateral or external rotation, and rolling on the quadriceps, getting a little more medial, a little more of the inner quadricep. And then pause, we're rotating the other way. So toes and heels out, a little bit of internal rotation, and then a roll on the quadriceps. Good, and then we're rolling to the other hip. So rolling to the other hip, we're taking that IT band roll from knee to hip, or that kind of bony process here on the top of the femur. So rolling the side of the leg, a few rolls here. Continue to breathe, use your upper body and your top leg to support you. So this is a comfortable strength sensation. We're gonna pause here at the top of the hip and once again, rotate open and then rotate over. So getting at some of the muscles at the top and outside of the hip here. It's rotating up and back. A little bit of glute medius here, maybe a little tensor fascia lata. And maybe one more rotation. We're gonna pause here and come all the way back up to a seat. We should be on our second glute. So rolling again from sit bone to kind of that ridge on the back of your pelvis. You don't want to roll over the sit bone or the back of the pelvis here, the crest of the pelvis and back, the sacrum there. So just rotating there on the muscle of the glute. Maybe getting some piriformis there as well, kind of top deep muscle. All right. And then we're taking that hamstring roll here. So one more on the foam roller. Parallel legs to start. And we're rolling forward and back. Sometimes if it's hard to reach the floor here, you can use some sturdy books or I'm using yoga blocks to bring the floor up to me. So I'm not stretching for the floor as I'm rolling my hamstrings. Good, we're taking that same variation. So external rotation, heels and toes out, rotating at the hip joint and getting a little more 
So the outer edge is lateral parts of the hamstring. Good, and then we're coming back to center, internal rotation. So toes and heels out and rolling the hamstrings. Good, so we've done a little bit of mobilization. We've warmed up through the core. Hopefully you're feeling a little warm through the body. We're gonna do some static stretching here. So the first is a reclined butterfly stretch. We're gonna hold this for one minute. So you're gonna lie on your back and I have some yoga blocks. You might use some pillows and I have a timer that I'm going to use. So soles of the feet to touch, knees open wide. You want your heels pretty close to your glutes. I'm using the blocks underneath my legs because my knees don't touch the floor and I don't wanna be stretching too far toward the floor to where it's an uncomfortable stretch or too intense where my muscles are starting to tense up or tighten to support my legs. So you wanna feel an opening stretch, but not a tension through the muscles. So adjust the blocks and your feet position so you can find a comfortable stretch through the legs, recline back, and we breathe for one minute. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath you, center your head, let your palms roll up toward the sky. And we're just gonna breathe here, sense into the opening through the hip adductors. And holding this stretch for one minute. Easy inhales and exhales. See if you can't make your exhale a little longer than your inhale. Sensing into some release, opening through the hip adductors. Spine just in a neutral position here. A few more breaths. And we're moving out. So gentle roll to one side, coming up to a seat. All right, so from here, we're heading to a lunge position. Now I invite you to get some padding, a pillow or a blanket under the knee. Step one foot forward. And this is where blocks or um, even two chairs can be really helpful. So we're stretching the front leg long. You can just let your toe be relaxed. And we're hinging at the hips. So here, starting tall, we're hinging at the hips till we find a stretch through the hamstring muscle. And we're gonna pause here again, holding about a minute. Now you can hold this stretch and just sense into some stretch through the back of the upper leg, or you can add some spine work here. So rounding through the spine, curling head to tailbone, and then arching through the spine or extending through the spine, the head and tail lift skyward. And this can be a very subtle, small movement. Rounding cat and extending cow. So again, options, you can continue to move the spine cat cow, or you can hold this hinge at the hips, stretching through the hamstring. We'll be here about another 30 seconds. So we're holding each stretch about one minute. I think that last one we actually held two minutes, but it's a nice recline pose, easy to hold for a little while. This one, we're actually here about 90 seconds. 
Maybe one more breath. And let's bend into the front knee. We're switching sides. So once again, you might want some padding under the back knee here, stepping your opposite leg forward. I'm feeling some length here. The knee is lengthened, but we're not locking out the knee. So a bend in the knee is a-okay here. Blocks, two chairs can be great support. We're gonna start with a hinge at the waist here. So I'm a little wobbly. So I'm gonna separate my feet. So I have a little wider base for balance. So hips hinge here, we're hinging forward. And you can hold this stretch here. Or what you can do is take that cat cow spine. So rounding head and tail curl toward each other, curling the spine, and then arching or extending the spine, head and tail lift skyward. And you can sense into how that changes the stretch in the back of the upper leg here as you're working through cat and cow spine. Again, this can be really subtle. It doesn't have to be a big movement. What we're doing is we're sort of learning about the connection between spine position, pelvis, and the stretch through the lower body. Good, I'm gonna restart my timer here. We'll be here for maybe just one more minute. So working with your cat cow spine, we're holding this stretch, taking some deep breaths. So stretch should be relaxed, should be a gentle stretching sensation. We're avoiding anything that feels like gripping or trembling, um, something that sends off alarm bells. Stretch is part muscle work, but part nervous system work. So we need our body to actually be relaxed. So using that deep breath and finding a gentle stretching sensation is a way to work on the nervous system component of flexibility. That's what we're doing here. Good, ease on out. So we're coming out of that stretch. And next here, we're gonna take a reclined figure four. So rolling over to the back once again. And to rotate this direction. You're gonna cross one ankle over the thigh and you could stay here using your muscles to just press your knee outward. If it feels accessible and comfortable, you can lift your foot away and wrap behind the leg. We're gonna do both sides. So pick a side here and we're just gonna breathe in this figure four stretch. Another variation that can be really nice and feel pretty supportive is to actually use a wall and prop your foot on the wall here to take that stretch. Sometimes this can feel like you get a better stretch or more work through the outer hip, less tension through the knee. So we're really looking for no sensation in the knee and some stretch through the outer hip here. We'll be here for again about a minute. Let me grab my timer here. I think we'll hang out here for another 30 seconds. Again, seeking that gentle stretching sensation. See if you can find a neutral position through the spine so you're not arching through the low back, you're not rounding. Head is centered, shoulder blades tucked underneath you. Rib cage is drawing into the body gently. Just feel the back of the rib cage just gently resting on the earth. Maybe another breath here. And we're switching sides. So I'm gonna scoot myself away from the wall. Again, you can start with crossing ankle over and hang out here, just using the muscles of the outer hip to press that knee open. Uh, if it's accessible and comfortable, you can pick the foot off the ground and wrap behind the leg. And sometimes it can feel like a better stretch if you actually ground your foot to a wall. It allows you a little more nuance in how much stretch you're getting. All right, we'll be here for about a minute, 90 seconds. And we're seeking some gentle stretching. 
Notice the position of the spine. If your rib cage is opening up or arching up, draw the rib cage back and down. So the back of the ribs are sort of gently resting on the earth. Feel a natural curve through your low back. Tuck the shoulder blades underneath you, center the head. And take some deep breaths here. So we're looking for no sensation in the knee, a gentle opening sensation through the outer hip. A few more breaths here. And then let's ease out of that, uncross the legs. We're gonna come up to a seat. So legs out in front of you here. Now, if you're feeling a lot of tension already through the low back of the knees, you can bend your knees here, or you can take a couple of blocks or some pillows underneath the knees, if that feels accessible. If the tension is in the low back, you might take those blocks or pillows and actually sit on them to elevate the hips a little bit and allow you a little more hinging action forward before the spine rounds. So knees lengthen, but not locked out. Again, as much knee, bend in the knee as you, as you need here. We're just gonna round forward. So hinge first at the waist, the hips, and then round forward, tucking chin toward the chest. So you do wanna feel actually a back line stretch here. So a stretch through the whole length of the spine, but you don't want any discomfort in the spine. It just should feel like a back line stretch. And we want to feel a little stretch through the hamstring, but really what we're looking for is kind of a whole back line stretch, um, stretching the backs of the hamstrings, as well as the muscles that extend the spine here. So tucking chin toward the chest. We'll just be here for about a minute. And relax your feet. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Maybe just another breath here and then ease yourself out of this. All right, we have one more here. We're just gonna take an easy twist side to side here. So lying on your back, we're gonna cross one leg over the top as far as feels comfortable. And we're gonna drop the knees to one side. We're trying to keep the shoulders grounded now, if your knees don't reach the ground, grab those pillows or blocks and support your knees so they're not stretching toward the earth. You're looking for a comfortable stretch here without overdoing. And we'll be here for just one minute. I'm gonna take a look at my timer here. All right. So one minute on each side. Again, we're seeking some comfortable stretch here without reaching or stretching, feeling tension. We're really looking for a gentle release. Shoulder blades gently grounding. Easy breath here.
right. And we're coming center. We're going the other way. So legs stay crossed the same way, but we're twisting the opposite direction. So once again, getting a block or a pillow underneath the knees to support. So you're feeling a stretch, but not a reach or a real tension um, as you're stretching knees toward the floor. Again, shoulders equally grounded and take a few breaths here. And we're working both with the muscles and connective tissue of the body, but we're also working with the nervous system here. So our stretching really needs to be done in a relaxed way as is possible. So use the breath here. Maybe a little longer exhale. And we're coming back to center. And then we're crossing the other leg on top. So same thing, drop the knees to one side. Again, use a pillow, a block to support this twist so you're not reaching for the floor. Easy stretch here. A few deep breaths for just about one minute. And then we're switching the direction of our twists. Easy breathing here. Just a few more breaths. Really looking for no sensation through the knee in this twist. We really want to feel maybe some opening or some stretch through the front of the hip, the outer hip, and up through the side or back of the body here. Use that blocker pillow under the knees to support this. So you're feeling little to no sensation through the knee. And we're switching sides. So legs stay crossed the same way. We're dropping the knees an opposite direction twist. And we're here for one minute. I'm just breathing easy here. Great, coming back to center, uncross the legs. And we'll roll to one side, press up to a seat. Thanks for stretching with me today.